Hello everyone, today I have my empties and half empties from the last week to share with you. This was risky week <laughs> and I'm definitely over it. Um, there were a few surprises in here, things that I would probably repurchase, so that was nice to know, um, but there were a lot of things that did not surprise me. <laughs> so. Um, I don't think I have quite as many empties as I've been having. It was difficult to melt this week. Like I would go to my melting basket and there would be nothing <laughs> that I wanted to melt. So I'm still gonna start with the stuff that I melted and didn't finish. Um, and we'll just start with these. I melted some Sassy Girl Aroma, um, of course. Um, I melted Under the Mistletoe and Christmas at Santa. So Under the Mistletoe is, sorry for the shadow guys, I turned the big light on behind me because there's not much natural light coming in right now, but there might be a shadow. Um, anyway, Under the Mistletoe is Mistletoe, Berries, Apple, Pine, oh, Pine Needles, Fir, Cedarwood, Balsam, Patchouli. Um, and I had mentioned in my melting basket video that on cold, I smelled a bit of like a wet dog note. And I still kind of got that on warm, but I don't know, somehow it worked. <laughs> I don't know, I did like this um, and it performed super well. It was so strong. Um, and like, I didn't let these sit for very long at all after I got them, so super strong. I did like the scent. I don't know if it's a scent I would repurchase, but I'll enjoy melting through the rest of it. Um, and then the other one was Christmas at Santa's. This is Pepperberry Wreath, Sugar Cookies, and Marshmallow Fireside. And again, I liked this one. It was super strong. It lasted for a long time. Um, I didn't get much Pepperberry Wreath though, and I was hoping for more of that. I mostly got Marshmallow Fireside with like some sugar cookie. Um, it was still really nice. I love Marshmallow Fireside, and like I said, it was super strong and lasted a long time, so it was a good melt. I'm wondering if I let this sit a little bit longer, if that Pepperberry Wreath will come out a bit more. I really kind of wanted this to be a bit more complex and interesting than it was, um, but we'll see if it gets better as it sits longer. But I did like both of these. I'm still undecided if I would purchase from this vendor again um, but they performed super well and like I only used one one of these little pieces in each warmer and it was like really good performance so they performed super well I just don't know if it's a vendor that I want to support um, let's go on to Rose Girls I melted some banana bread carbs. This did better for me this time than I remember it performing in the past. Um, it was good. It was more of a medium performer and I did like it. I don't know that I need to repurchase it. It smells really good in the bag. <laughs> I don't know if I need to repurchase it, um, but I think I'll enjoy melting through the rest of it. I might even melt some of that in my daughter's room because she really loves banana and like bakery scents. So she would probably love that in her room and it might be stronger in there also. Um, I melted some lemon cotton candy ice cream cake in my bedroom. This did really well. Again, last time I melted it, it was super light. And this time it was super strong. I did do three mini melter pieces in my bedroom and my Sensia cord, so I mean, maybe I should try it with just one piece in my Sensia cord and see if it's still super strong because I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I was gonna say I don't feel like I want to use three pieces in my bedroom every time, but I pretty much do that with every vendor and I get super strong. <laughs> Row. I'm thinking I don't need to do that with every vendor and just use like one piece and turn the other two warmers off, but it's hard to not just fill up all the dishes 
with wax but it was it like was so strong in my bedroom and I did actually like it um it was just kind of like a creamy vanilla lemon scent like a lemon vanilla scent um but my husband let me know yesterday he didn't say anything while I had this melting but yesterday he told me that he doesn't really like lemon scents because they remind him of cleaning products um I like that <laughs> um so I'm gonna be a little more cognizant of that I don't typically buy a ton of lemon but I do like lemon bakery um and I do like a clean lemon sometimes but I'll just be kind of more aware of you know the fact that he doesn't really like them he never like I think one time throughout the entire time I've been melting wax he said that he did he really didn't like something that I had in um but yeah he never like complains or anything he would just let me know yesterday that lemon's not his favorite thing to smell in the house <laughs> um okay the next one is Macintosh snickerdoodle cookies again this performed really well so I'm thinking that Rose Girls is going to perform better in this house for us um because again I melted this at the old house and it wasn't super strong but this did really well I just put one piece in each of my warmers through the dining room and living room it was strong and it smelled good so again I don't know if this is one that I need to repurchase but I did like it and I'll enjoy melting the rest of it. And then the last one from Rose Girls is Resting Witch Face. I think this is like um, pumpkin, apple, is it zucchini bread and like marshmallow. This smelled really good too. It was strong, it smelled great. Um, I would maybe consider picking this one up again like closer to fall and Halloween I did like it it wasn't like I wasn't like oh man I need this again right away but I think maybe more towards fall I'm gonna crave it a little bit or something similar to this performed super well it smelled really good um, okay I have one from Hayden Row. this is I don't know Balmoral Balmoral I don't know how to say it I keep forgetting to look it up um I melted this in my kids rooms and it smelled good last time I melted this I like very vividly remember that it smelled like burning wax or like melted crayons I should say like or I guess you could say burning wax like if you leave wax in your warmer for too long or I used to get it a lot when I had Walmart warmers with Walmart wax it would just start to smell like the wax was burning and I didn't get any scent from it. That's what this smelled like the last time I melted it, but this time it smelled good. It wasn't super strong, but it smelled good. So I don't know, maybe it was just the warmer that I had it in before or what. It's not one I would repurchase, but it wasn't terrible. Um, I have one from Vintage Chic. This is White Witch. It's rain, bonfire, and crunchy leaves. I did this one in my bedroom. This was one that I loved on cold, but I just wasn't sure if it was going to perform. It smells so good. I did this one in my Scentsy Accord, so three pieces in my bedroom, and it did pretty well. It was more of like a medium but like on the high end of medium. It didn't like blow me out of the room like some things do, but it smelled good and it was like a really nice, like I think it was really good for the bedroom. It was kind of like a light scent, um, but like you could definitely smell it. So it was kind of a nice relaxing scent in there. I don't know what the bonfire is in this. It might be Bonfire Bliss yeah it probably is nothing in here is smoky to me bonfire bliss is not smoky to me at all or like fiery or embery or anything um it's just kind of like a sweet scent maybe sweet outdoorsy but i don't get any like smokiness or anything but i've seen other people talk about bonfire bliss and they're like this is so smoky i don't know i wish i got a smoky note from it but i don't so yeah, like nothing in here 
is very smoky to me there i get the rain and then it's just like um like an outdoorsy fresh fall kind of scent um but no smokiness i do like this i don't know if i would repurchase um i'm gonna have to melt it again to decide if i would need any more of that i've been trying to avoid this huge sunspot but it seems like i'm not going to be able to um let me see if i can pull this back and over a little bit just so that's like not so glaringly i don't know maybe like that <laughs> um we'll see if that works but I have one here from The Bathing Garden in Cleopatra's Cream Bath. Still kind of torn on this one. I don't think I would repurchase. I just I did one cube in my tea light warmer again. On cold, I get this strong dog pee smell. But also, I don't know, I really get that on cold. And then on warm, I still get that, but I get like this really pretty scent also. I don't know. I forgot to look up the notes for this, so I can't tell you what it is um, that smells like dog pee to me. <laughs> Maybe I have it pulled up. Let me see. But look how pretty. Like I just, every time her wax just is so beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. So I kept like, I'd be like, oh, it smells really nice in the kitchen. And then like right after that, I would be like, oh my gosh, did Cash pee somewhere? Because <laughs> I kept smelling that smell and I just don't know. I just, I don't think I would repurchase it. I like want to love this because I know so many people love this scent. And I know there's this beautiful note in there. I just think whatever that note is stands out to me because that's what it smells like to me. Um, let me see. I think I might have pulled this up, but I forget. Okay, butter, cream, milk, golden honey, rosewood, and a hint of musk. That sounds amazing to me. Like the notes, I'm thinking it's the honey. Honey can bother me sometimes. It must just be the way the honey is blending with the other notes. Everything in there sounds just beautiful. Sometimes I struggle with rosewood, but I don't really get that that rosewood note that bothers me. It's more of just like a pretty rose. Um, and it's not super buttery to me. There is like that creaminess. So I don't know. I'm not going to repurchase it, but I'm still like, I just don't. I don't know. I don't understand what I'm, what I'm smelling there. <laughs> um, okay. We'll do these super tarts ones. Um, I melted some predator. This is cappuccino, coconut, whipped cream, and pie crust. So it's cappuccino and coconut cream pie. Smells really good on cold, but this was super light. Like if this were really strong, I would probably repurchase it. I'm going to try it in a different area and see if it does any better. It smells so good on cold. It just, it didn't perform how I wanted it to. So we'll see how it does in a different area, but I don't think I'm going to repurchase that. Ugh. Um, Proton pack. This is blueberry pie crust and whipped cream. Not going to be a repurchase. I might try to finish this in my kids rooms because I don't think that it would bother them. I've, I've realized I'm not a big blueberry fan. I think I've kind of always known that, but there are specific blueberry scents that I love. Um, this is not one. It just smells kind of icky to me. Um, I don't think it's a bad blueberry scent. Like if, if you love blueberry, I feel like you would like this. It just, it kind of turned my stomach. So that won't be a repurchase, but it performed pretty well. Um, I have some L3. So the first one is the Lorax. Here's a Who and Whoville. This is pink sugar, marshmallow cookies, cotton candy, craze, and tinsel trees. So it was in my risky basket because tinsel trees has a grapefruit note in it that 
smelled like cat pee. I don't know what it is with me and the animal pee scents, but <laughs> yeah, and I still really pick it up on cold, on warm. This was really nice. Uh, that grapefruit note was still there, but it like severely was like tamed down by the other notes on warm. Um, so I'm going to melt more of this before I decide, but I think I would repurchase this. I really did enjoy it. I had it in my entryway. I might try this in my bedroom or even through the living room and dining room just to see if it's something that I do need to repurchase or if I can just enjoy this bag and be done with it. We'll see, but I did really like it. Um, I melted Arctic Circle. This is Boogie Be Gone Eucalyptus and Toasted Marshmallows. I didn't like what the Toasted Marshmallow was doing to this on cold. On warm, I didn't mind it. It kind of just blended the Boogie Be Gone and the Eucalyptus. It was really nice. It even almost smelled like um, kind of incense-y at certain points. Um, just the way it was blending together, I kind of got like a Nag Champa feel. So I did really like this. I don't know if I would need to repurchase this, but I would maybe grab it in like a smaller amount again, but we'll see again after I melt the rest of that. Um, this one is raspberry cupcake lemon curd coconut extreme waffle cone. Okay, so I don't know if this is... I think it's raspberry cupcake, lemon curd. I don't know if it's coconut extreme or coconut comma extreme waffle cone. If you know, let me know. Either way, I did not like this. I didn't get any raspberry. I didn't get any lemon curd. What I got was like this stomach turning butter note. I don't know where that came from. I don't know if it's like the cupcake note. On cold, I can smell the raspberry and I can smell the lemon on warm I almost took it out because it, it made me feel sick um, I just I did it in my back room so I didn't have to smell it like all day but anytime I went back there I was like what is in these warmers I cannot stand it um, yeah so this wouldn't be a repurchase I again I might try to melt this in my kids room and see if they can handle it because I don't want to just toss it. I don't really want to pass it on to anyone because I used some of it and I don't really know anyone like nearby that would really enjoy it. I don't know. I'm going to try to melt the rest of this and not just toss it. Um, I melted some blueberry saltwater taffy graham crackers buttercream frosting. This was incredibly light and I mostly just got the saltwater taffy note which is probably my least favorite note in here. Yeah, I get a lot of the saltwater taffy. Um, if it had been blueberry graham cracker buttercream frosting and had been much stronger, I would have liked it, I think. But it just wasn't strong and it just smelled like saltwater taffy. So again, I might try this in my kids' bedrooms and see how they feel about it it won't be a repurchase um and then this is the last one from l3 it's watermelon is it watermelon snow taffy and spearmint or watermelon snow taffy and spearmint i don't know either way it smelled like watermelon bubble gum um which isn't a favorite scent of mine it's okay like in the bag it kind of reminds me of watermelon mint from Scentsy which is one of my favorite watermelon scents but I didn't get much of the spearmint on warm I mostly just got this candied watermelon so I wouldn't repurchase this um, I might save this for summer and see if I like it better then but I already know I love her watermelon sugar high scent and i think that's like watermelon strawberry and cotton candy i like that one well enough so i'll probably just continue to repurchase that either way um that was pretty strong though but like i said it was mostly just that watermelon note and candied watermelon so um i have one from teddy bees in green envy this is bartlett pears let them eat cake and vanilla be noel this was actually really nice i was worried about the pear note 
It was really nice though. I did get a lot of the pear while it was melting, but it was pretty. I think I'm coming to learn that pear isn't my favorite scent. Um, I don't know, this was mostly like a pear body care kind of feel, which is kind of what I expected. And it was fairly strong in my living room and dining room. I don't think this would be a repurchase, but I will enjoy melting the rest of that. Um, wine from Dessa's in Southern Banana Pudding. This was pretty good. It the, the banana didn't bother me. I think I've kind of come to realize that I do like banana. Um, but it just depends on what it's blended with. So yeah, I think I like this one because it's just like banana and some vanilla kind of based scents. And I think that's what I enjoy. I don't think I like banana with like mixed fruits or anything. Um, this one did pretty well. It was like a medium to high throw um, in my entryway and I did like the scent. I don't know if I need to repurchase it. I'm gonna melt it in my daughter's room and see if she loves it because she's really, she loves banana so she might really like it and then I would repurchase it but otherwise I won't. Um, I have one from Better Homes and Gardens in Sage Leaf and Musk. Where? Oh, I melted this in the bathrooms. This was really nice. Really, really nice. Um, so the notes are Sage, Musk, Green, Herbal, Floral, and Wood Scent Notes. And yeah, that's like, that's what you get. Yeah, and I really like it. It's almost... It's almost like masculine leaning, but it's more like those fresh outdoorsy notes with, with the musk, which kind of adds like a cologne vibe to it. But it was just really nice and fresh and like earthy in the bathrooms. I think next time I'll melt this through the living room because I think I would actually like it more in here. Um, I would maybe repurchase this. I didn't end up getting like any kind of melted crayon note. So I was really impressed with it, um, and it was it was pretty strong. So I I would maybe pick that up again. I don't often pick up Walmart wax, mostly because I don't often go to Walmart. But if I happened to be there and saw that, I would probably grab one. Okay, and then the last ones are Scentsy. This is spiced pear. I got no spice from this. None whatsoever. It was just pear and not like my favorite pear. It was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Not not anything I would need to get again, but I'll, you know, I'll finish this up or I might even see if my mom would want to melt this. I think she likes pear a little bit more than I do maybe. Um, so yeah, either way this will get melted and it's not a bad scent. It's just... I think I would have liked it more if there were any kind of spice in here. I I was really hoping for a, a spiced pear because that's what it's called, but I didn't get that. Um, the next one is the last petal from the Beauty and the Beast collection. This one was okay. I think I melted this in the bathrooms. It wasn't super strong in there. I'm. Again, I might try this in my living room and see how it does. It does smell good. There's still this note in here that I can't even explain or describe. But it just kind of throws me off a little bit. It's like I really like everything in here except for whatever that is. And it just kind of ruins the whole scent for me. Um, but like I said, I'm going to try it again. It is like a grapefruit. I think it's not too bad though. Um, yeah, I'm going to try it again. I don't think it's one that I'll pick up again, but I'll, I'll melt the rest of that. Um, I melted some strawberry champagne truffle. Not a strawberry fan. This is, a, this is not a favorite. Just smelling it now kind of gives me a headache. But it wasn't super bad on warm. It wasn't as bad as I remember it being <laughs> the last time I tried it. Um, it. It wouldn't ever be a repurchase, but it's it's okay. I think if you like 
strawberry you would like it. Um, I know people have purchased this from me and they love it, but it's not, it's not for me. Okay, that's all of the things I melted and didn't finish. So I think I'm gonna pause it here and come right back because my camera's gonna shut off if I don't. Um, and then we'll get started with the stuff that I emptied. Okay, on to the empties. Um, we'll just start with Scentsy since that's where we left off. I melted the rest of this sun ripened berry. Nope, not for me. I, I fought the urge all day to switch it out, but I didn't want to waste it because it was so strong. Ugh, ugh. No, I don't know. I know people love this one, so it's not a bad scent. It's just a bad scent for me. I, ugh, ugh. It smells like a bunch of fruits mixed together with like, what? There's some kind of note in here. Oh, there's something in here that I just cannot, cannot do. Let me see if I can pull it up quick so I can tell you guys the notes. So maybe uh, you can be like, oh yeah, I can't do that note either. I mean, it obviously has strawberry. I think it has strawberry. Um, I thought it had raspberry. Let me see, sun ripened raspberry. Oh, wasn't this, oh, it's just sun ripened berry. Wasn't sun ripened raspberry like a Bath and Body Works scent or something? I'm having like a flashback from like the 90s or the early 2000s. I wonder if that's what this is supposed to smell like. I don't know. I feel like I liked that scent though. Hmm. I don't know. I honestly, I can't remember what that smells like, so I couldn't tell you, but I just noticed that they have a very similar name. Um, okay. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Sun ripened berry is not coming up. Where did they go? Oh, a refreshing scoop of orange, orange sorbet sprinkled with sun ripened raspberries and strawberry sugar. Maybe it's the orange sorbet. That might be it. I don't know. I think it's just how they're all blending together. Ugh. No, not a fan. If you like super fruity scents, you would probably like that, but I, I do not. Okay, then we will go on to, I have one from the pharmacist's daughter in Gizmo the Good. This is agave lime, mango sorbet, rice krispie treats. This smells really good, but it was just super light. I got like nothing from this. Um, yeah, so this wouldn't be a repurchase. Honestly, I don't know why I purchased this to begin with. It doesn't sound like anything I would be interested in. I mean, maybe the mango sorbet. Sometimes I really want to smell that, but I don't know. I wouldn't repurchase this. I did it in my kids' rooms and I didn't smell it. My daughter's room is tiny and my boys have two warmers, so I should smell scents when I put them in there, um, but I didn't. This one is from Destination Wax in Strawberry Crumble. This is strawberries and acai berries baked in sugar with a light topping of sugar cookie crumble. This one, this one was okay. I think what saved it for me was the acai berries. It added like this, I don't know, like this really crisp kind of cold berry note to it. And I really liked that. But other than that, it wasn't like anything. Sorry, I was trying not to bump into the tripod. My leg is falling asleep. Um, it wasn't anything that I need to get more of, but I might look into like more scents from Destination Wax with the acai berry. I don't know if they have any other ones, but I'm going to check it out. I did see that Destination Wax isn't going to be having an opening in February or is it March? I think they're not having an opening in March. So I'm really just like debating if I want to go in in the February order because I, I was planning to wait until March since, you know, I'm trying to do this low buy. So now it's like, do I want to go in in February or can I wait until April? 
Honestly, I could probably wait until April, but I don't know. I really wanted to pick some things up. Okay, um, I have a couple from Dessa's. This first one is Banana Caramel Cupcake. This was pretty nice. Um, yeah, I feel like the caramel didn't, like... I don't know it wasn't too much caramel I think it was a good amount on cold I got a lot of the caramel so I didn't know how it was gonna warm up it was pretty nice you did get a little bit of the banana and it was like a bakery scent I don't think I would repurchase it but I enjoyed it while it melted um, this one is it's a mystery and I have no idea what this was I did they were like little popsicles and I did one in each of the bathrooms it kind of smelled like body care, kind of smelled like laundry. So it might have been like a laundry body care, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It did pretty well in there though, whatever it was. Um, I melted Bora Bora from Zape. I thought this might be like a Scentsy dupe. I don't think it is though for the Bora Bora Blossom from Scentsy. I don't think it is because I'm pretty sure I like Bora Bora Blossom. I need to try it again. Um, it's available right now until the end of the month. I think it's only in the Scentsy Club though. I'm not sure. But this, ugh, no, this is that like tropical coconut scent that I really don't like. Um, smells like burnt hair to me. I can't do that. Um, one from Ava's. This was risky because I've never tried Ava's wax before. This was a little sample that I cut in half and put in my back room in those two warmers that are like the worst. It's the worst room with the worst performing warmers. <laughs> but this actually did pretty well and it smelled really good. So I think I would like to make a purchase from Ava's in the future. Another one from a vendor that I had never tried before. It's Oh No, They're Burnt. This is a blend of toasted marshmallow and blackberry jam butter cookies. This did well. It was strong. I put the whole little cookie in my tea light warmer and it did pretty well, but I am not a fan of blackberry jam butter cookies. I'm learning. Um, it smells like super artificial to me, so I would probably purchase from this vendor, just not the scent. I have one from Rainbow Melts in Texas. This is the Candy Lady Candy Corn Gooey Caramel Rice Krispie Treats. Honestly, I don't remember how this performed. I put it in my kids' bedrooms. Yeah, I don't know. I think I went in one time to check on it. Rainbow Melts usually does pretty well for me, but I don't remember how that did and it wouldn't be a repurchase. Um, one from, this bag is all poofy. One from Blended with Love, who is now the Starlit Corner. This is Wish Upon a Star. It's Fruity Pebbles and A Thousand Wishes. This actually smelled really good in the warmers. It wasn't super strong. It was like a medium, um, so it wasn't light, but it wasn't as strong as I would have liked it to be. Yeah, it smelled really good. It was kind of interesting, but it was like a pretty... <laughs> Fruity Pebbles blend. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it, but I wasn't like super disappointed with it either. Um, I have one from K. This was a sample in Plumeria. This was beautiful, but every time I went into my bathroom, I felt like I was in like sixth grade again, like middle school. It smells really pretty though. Um, and I kind of feel like I would want to do some customs with this. I don't know if I would purchase this like straight up by itself again. But if you want like a nostalgic Bath and Body Works kind of scent, try this one. But yeah, I do feel like I want to put this in a custom at some point. It's really pretty and it was super strong. Um, so I did enjoy that. I have one from Empire Alchemy in Oceanside. This did really well. I didn't get that melted crayon scent, um, but I did get that coconut that I don't like. The notes are clean cotton, aftershave, and coconut milk. Yeah, I don't know. It was nice. It was nice. And if you like all kinds of coconut, I would say give this a try if you like fresh, clean scents um, with a coconut, but this coconut was not for me. 
Yeah, no. I I think because it said coconut milk, I was expecting it to be more like a creamy coconut, and it wasn't. It was that that like tropical kind of coconut. Um Okay, let's do these from the bathing garden. This was a coconut I enjoyed, Coconut Cove. Again, I don't know what the notes are. Um, let me see if they're on here. This was a sample, it was like a sand dollar shape. It was really nice. I would love to tell you what's in it if the notes are here. Coconut Cove. Vanilla swirled coconut milk blends with pineapple and banana. Um, okay. I don't know that I got pineapple or banana. Now I kind of smell pineapple, but this was really like a body care kind of scent to me. It was really pretty. Yeah, it was really pretty. I think it might be that tropical coconut, but it wasn't like really standing out on warm. Um, it, it really smelled like a coconut body care, like a really pretty coconut. Honestly, I didn't get pineapple or banana, but I wasn't really looking for them either. So now that I know they're there, if I melted it again, I might pick it up. Didn't pick it up here. It was just a really pretty body care coconut and it was strong and I enjoyed it. I don't know that I would pick it up again. I do typically really like the bathing gardens coconut, especially if it's like a vanilla blended coconut. I think she does them really well for me at least. Um, Cinderella would be jealous. This is like almond cake, marzipan, and something else, maybe like vanilla or something. I think I just don't like that marzipan note. It was better on warm than I was expecting it to be, but that still came out. It's just really plasticky to me. I do think that's just a me thing. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase it. I didn't mind it though, and it was strong. Um, I melted Love Orange in my tea light warmer. This one has a very strong grapefruit ugh, that I'm not a fan of. But if you love all things grapefruit, try this one because that's all I got from it. But I mean, that could be because I don't like it, but um, it was super strong. I emptied this clam of complicated. This is like a coffee pretzel situation. This was really good and it was so strong. This is caramel coffee layered under a blend of coconut, vanilla, chocolate, and crushed pretzels. So again, I was worried about the caramel. I was worried about the coconut, but I really just got like a super strong coffee. I was worried about this coffee too because on cold I kind of got that like perm solution smell. But no, it was ugh, it was so good on warm and it was so strong. I did three cubes through my um, living room and dining room and it was like, it's all I could smell in the house. I didn't get coconut, I don't think. No, I didn't get coconut from it. I might have got like a little tiny bit of chocolate and I did get some caramel and some like saltiness from the pretzel. This was really good and I probably would pick up a clam of it again. That one kind of surprised me. Um, okay, then I have some bags from L3. This one is buttered popcorn, banana bread, cinnamon sugar. This is a big no. All I got was buttered popcorn. Ugh, no, it was, this was icky to me. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever purchase that. I think I'm not a buttered popcorn fan. I think I like kettle corn and I don't even like pick those up often, but definitely not here for the buttered popcorn. Um, banana pudding vanilla wafers. I did like this scent. It was super light though. I didn't get a whole lot from it, so I wouldn't pick that one up. Um, this one was actually really nice. Banana vanilla wafers sweet cream. Um, I think I did this in, where did I do this? Either the back room or the kitchen. Either way, it smelled nice. It was more of a medium performer. It wasn't super strong. If it had been stronger, I would probably repurchase this one. 
it just wasn't strong enough, but it did smell really nice. Um, I emptied Hermione. I melted this one because on cold, all I got from it was cherry. And I still kind of got it on warm, but I didn't mind it. Um, I did this in my bedroom. I think I would probably pick this up again just to test it out again because I'm still kind of unsure about it. I'm still kind of unsure as to whether this was the right pour <laughs> because I got so much cherry and I don't think there's any cherry note in Hermione. Um, so I would maybe grab like an owl again or something small. Um, yeah, because I really want to love this scent. I don't know why. I don't know why I try to force myself to love scents, but it performed super well. It was very strong in my bedroom. Um, I melted pumpkin pretzel. I just don't get much from this. It was okay. It was super light though. Um, it was light the last time I melted it. I was just hoping it would be a bit stronger, but it's very light for me. I wouldn't repurchase. And this one is strawberry white cake, strawberry bread, and Mexican fried ice cream. I really liked this one. Um, I, the reason it was in Risky Week is because I struggle with strawberry. This is one that I liked. I think I want to try strawberry bread on its own because I feel like that's what was coming through the most to me and I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I would, I would try those notes either blended again or separately. Um, and then I melted coconut cream pie, brandied pear, brown sugar, French vanilla. I mostly just got the pear in this again and I didn't like it. Um, so yeah, this wouldn't be a repurchase. I don't think I'll pick up Brandy Pear Scents from L3, um, but it was strong. Okay, then I have two from Teddy B's. This one is Strawberry Lover's Dream. This was not a dream for me. It was a very icky artificial strawberry to me. Um, but again, if you love strawberry, you would probably like it. It was just not good for me. This one is sugarberry birthday cake. So this has strawberry pound cake and blueberry sugar and then birthday cake. So I was testing the strawberry and the blueberry here. This was okay. It actually smelled pretty nice on warm, but it's not one that I would purchase. Um, this was a sample obviously. So it's not one that I would purchase. Um, but it was nice. I think this was just in the pre-order. So obviously people like that one. Um, and then the last ones, oh, I missed one from Scentsy. Let me go back. Um, I had, I melted gingerbread hugs. I don't know how I missed this. It was like under my leg. Um, yeah, I don't like this. No, I don't know what it is. Something in here smells like stale to me, kind of. Like you put the gingerbread in the freezer and then left it in there too long and then tried to thaw it out and eat it Ugh. no i don't like that one but i know there's people that love this so i mean don't knock it until you try it but i've tried it so i'm knocking it <laughs> i don't like it okay um and then the last ones are from that small good shop i think that small good shop has a restock today i'm recording this on monday the 24th i think she has a restock um i really should not look at the list but anyway i melted cranberry bog this is bold cranberry and spiced vanilla again i got no nothing spiced here this whoa this smells to me this smells like children's chewable tylenol like super chalky fruit. No, I don't know. I guess that's what her bold cranberry smells like. And maybe that's all I'm getting because I don't like it, but I got like no spiced vanilla in here. That one would not be a repurchase. I was really hoping that cranberry would be like a super strong tart cranberry, but that's not what it is. Um, okay. And it was very strong on my tea light warmer. And then the last one is Medusa. This is fall leaves, lavender, and vanilla cream. Um, this actually smelled pretty good in my tea light warmer. It didn't smell like what I expected. 
and I don't even know if I could explain what it smelled like. Yeah, I don't know. It didn't smell like fall leaves with lavender and vanilla cream to me. It kind of smelled like a bath bomb or something. It smelled more like some kind of body product to me than it did like uh, like that outdoorsy leaves with like an herbal lavender and a vanilla cream. That's kind of what I was looking for. It was still nice and I would maybe repurchase this because I did like it. I think I would like really like this in the bathroom though because it reminds me of a body care product. Okay, that's everything I got through um, during Risky Week. Needless to say, I'm super excited to start melting into <laughs> this next week that um, the theme this week is like melt what brings you joy, basically favorites week, like things that you hoard because you love them so much. Um, I think in Drew's prompt, he kind of said they're not doing, they're not doing you any good sitting in the bags. You're not enjoying them, which is true. Um, and I did pull my basket for that. So I'm going to do a video. I severely over pulled <laughs> for favorites week um, because I was so excited about it. I probably have five times the amount of wax that I will be able to get through, but we'll see. You never know. Um, I've been surprising myself lately, so I might be able to do that super quickly now. Okay, yeah, I'm going to try to record that now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you are following along and you found something during Risky Week that you really loved. Um, or if you found something during Risky Week that you absolutely hated, I would love to hear about it. Um, and if any of your favorites are, or least favorites are here in my Risky Week empties, let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.